Okay, today I'm going to show you if you're working on a Wells Gardner 7400 series um, monitor and chassis, and you're having trouble with the fly with the vertical collapse. Uh, there's really not much to the vertical collapse, uh, like three or four resistors, a couple of diodes, and that's really it. If you look at the uh, some of the data sheets, it says, you know, hey, what you should look at on vertical flexion. There's not a lot. There's only about six things. And one of the things that most commonly fails, uh, generally it's due to cascaded because of the flyback or something else has failed or bad uh, cast. But generally one of the things that fails a lot is the TDA 1771 ICE vertical IC chip. This is the one that I had in there trying to show there it is TDA 1771 chip. Now mine died in my chassis so I went out and since I figured okay well the vertical IC chip's bad I'm gonna buy a couple I'll buy one then I'll go ahead and buy another one just to have it in stock because I know we've got more 7401s. Put it in there and fought this thing for a month trying to figure out why I could not get my vertical IC to work. Why I was still having vertical collapse over and over and over again. Well, I finally looked out on YouTube, found a gentleman that does a lot of Wells Gardner monitors. Uh, he did a great job. And um, I put a, posted a message on his asking him, man, I am fighting this thing. I don't know what I've done. I've replaced everything. And he said, well, you probably got a counterfeit chip. What? Yep, I got a counterfeit chip. And he, so I'm going to try to save everybody some headache. And he told me how to check, and I'm going to show you how to check. It's simple. It's fast. And if any of you folks out there are selling these chips, please check your chips. Make sure they're done right. And here's how you can check. It's real fast, real easy. The ground on these chips is tied to the um, the heatsink piece. I have my uh, my multimeter tied to continuity, so it beeps, and you can hear it. Well, ground on the actual circuitry is pin five. One, two, three, four, five. Hear that beep? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Even though this chip is bad, I know this chip is bad, I still get ground only on pin five. So let's look at one of the chips that I bought. Yay, this guy here. So here's our chip here that we bought. Let's count the pins. One, two, three, four, Five. Ooh, no sound. Six. Oh, sound. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Six. The ground they have is on pin six, not pin five. Pin six, not pin five. This chip, no good. If you first, soon as you get your chip in, if you get a chip, a seven TDA seventeen seventy one. Ground, pin 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it should be. If you get your chip and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is no beat, but 6 is beat, bad chip. Throw it away. No good. Bad chip. So, there you go. Test them before you spend a month trying to figure, fight it, trying to figure it out. There you go.